Hi, this is Mr. Max with Sun Golf uh, Mathematics. So, I'm looking at a few questions on logarithms, and I expect that you understand and you recall the laws with regard to logarithms. So, the following logs are common logs, so basically means the log base 10. So, when you don't see a base there, you should assume uh, this instance is that we are dealing with the common log, which is log base 10. So, I've got four questions here set up that uh, you can give it a go and see if you can solve most of them. The first one, you have log 2 plus log 5 minus log 49 upon log 7. Ideally, this question you should do without a calculator. And then the second one here, you have got two equations that you are supposed to solve using logarithms, and then you must give your answer correct to that degree of accuracy indicated, namely three significant figures. Here you have got three log expressions, so to say, and then you must express this as a single log. And then you have more equations, and you realize that somehow these are going to become quadratic. So give it a go, pause the video, and see if you eventually get to the same answers. Right, so I have the very first question here. So what you need to realize is that log 2 plus log 5, well, you're adding logs of the same basis. You multiply the numbers. So this is 2 times 5, which will give us the 10. And then 49 is nothing but 7 squared. So when you use the power law, you bring that 2 over, it becomes 2 log 7. And log 10 is equal to 1. Of course, you should know this. So first of all, the 7s, they cancel log 7, log 7 leaving us with that 2 that's there. And this is log base 10 of 10, which just becomes 1. And of course, this is 2 on this side, so 1 minus 2 gives us this answer as negative 1. So we have this equation here, so you can't use indices to solve this because there's no way for you to uh, make the basis to be the same. And uh, the best thing to do is we have to take log on both sides. So we're going to take the common logarithm on both sides of the equation. Right. So now we're going to use the common law or the, the power law rather to take this x plus 1 quantity and put it in front of the log 2. And then we're going to get rid of this log 2 by dividing at both sides by log 2. Now, this is an obvious answer you can get on your calculator. But I would suggest that you do not yet take this calculator value or that you do not write it rather. But then you take that and then you subtract 1 from that answer. So avoid writing all those horrible decimals and just get to this part where you now punch in as it is and take 1 away. So you should get nothing but 2.27 to three significant figures. So the second equation here is 2 multiplied by 3 raised to the power of x is equal to 98. So what I would advise you, never ever multiply these two over with the 3. Since this 3 is raised to an index, to an exponent, it needs to be handled first. But since we do know the value of x, we need to then get rid of these two simply by dividing throughout by that 2. That gives us 49 on the other side. Right, so here we are now back to the previous questions type of way. We have 3 raised to the power of x is equal to 49. You can't make the pieces the same, so you have to then use logs. So I'll be taking logs on both sides of the equation. Just remember that log 49 is a value that you do find on your calculator. However, I'm not going to punch in that decimal value. First, I'm going to use the power law, putting that x in front of log 3. And then I'm going to divide throughout by log 3. And only now I'm going to take my calculator value. Well, you should get about 3.54 to 3 significant figures. For this particular expression here, you're supposed to write them as a single log. So basically, first thing is first, you see you are adding logs here, and then you're subtracting by that. So when you add log of the same basis, you are going to multiply the numbers. And when you subtract log of the same basis, you're going to divide. So the first things first, I'm going to use the power law and just reverse it, and that becomes a to the power 4 and b squared and c squared. Now I'm going to take the a to the power 4 and the b to the power 2, and I'm going to multiply them together. 
Eventually, that gives me a to the power 4, b to the power 2, minus log c squared. So in order for me to get rid of this minus, when you are subtracting logs of the same basis, you are going to divide the numbers only. That means the a raised to the power 4, b squared upon c squared. Now, this is now written or expressed as a single logarithm. Right, so we have got question four here, the first part. Now, what I've done is I've indicated the logs on red there because we can drop those logs and basically only work with the numbers because if the bases are the same, then if you have log on one side and log on the other side, you can go ahead and equate the numbers together. So this gives rise to a quadratic equation which comes x squared minus 6x minus 16, which is equal to zero. So this particular problems, normally they do factorize. You can do a very quick check to check, but in any case, you should get that the two factors you are looking for are negative 8 and 2. And then one of the answers are possibly going to be 8, and the other one will possibly be negative 2. But I have not yet decided whether these answers are exactly checking out. So what I need to do is I need to check to see if I put x everywhere where I have an x put 8, for example, if what is on the left is equal to what is on the right. You should also remember that log of some number here should never be negative and should not be 0 as well. So in any case then, so what we have is if I do the right-hand side in this particular side and I substitute 8, for example, I do arrive that log 32 is my final answer there. So let me do the same on the left hand side the 16 plus 2x here and substitute x for 8 well i got log 32 which means that this value of 8 definitely also is a solution so let's look at the negative 2 so when i put negative 2 in the left hand side i get eventually to log 12 which is a positive number but i should see whether i get the same answer when i put it on the left well, it should give me log 12 as well. So therefore, this x equals to negative 2 is also a solution to this particular equation. The last one here, very similar thing. You have got two terms on the right-hand side here. So you have got two possibilities you can do this, right? So we also have addition of terms here. So basically, I can multiply the numbers. And then if I multiply the 2 with the 3x, I get 6x, and the 2 with the negative 4, I get a negative 8. So now I'm back to that condition where I have log of something is equal to log of something else. Since they are both equal to the logs, I can drop them and equate the numbers together. So I've got eventually x squared minus 6x plus 8 equals to 0, which is a quadratic equation. Quadratic equations will always be equal to 0. So again, there are two factors being negative 2 and negative 2 and 4. So once you solve for these equations, you realize that one possible answer will be x is equal to 4 and x is equal to 2. Now on the left side of my equation, I see that log 2 log x, x can be a positive number. So I'm not going to really do my checking here. And obviously, this is log 2, which is just some constant value. But in this particular instance, I'm interested where the log 3x minus 4 won't give me some negative value. Right, so when I check that side and I take the 4, for example, I get to log 8, which means it's a positive value, so it probably will work. So let me do the same now. Let me see what do I get when I substitute the value of 4 into the equation. So I'm taking this part here that I've simplified already. Well, I eventually end up with log 16 on the left would be equal to log 16 on the right. Therefore, this x equals to 4 is a possible solution. What about x equals to 2? Again, I'm going to take log 3x minus 4, that particular part, because here, again, if I put 2 in here, there's nothing I can do much because it's going to give me a positive number. Right, substituting for 2 here, I eventually get log 2. So let me then use the same concept where I take log x squared is equal to log 6x minus 8 and substitute 2 and see what is it that I'm ending up with. So I'm getting log 4 on the left, which is also log 4 on the right. Therefore, these two solutions of x equals to 4 and x equals to 2 are the correct solutions they are checking out.